Hello guys, good day all. Thanks for watching my first video and subscribing my channel. You know, after watching my ambulance building basic videos, a few of my viewers request me to post video about efficient building CBT modifiers. So, and this week we're going to learn about the modifiers. So, which modifier is frequently used for efficient buildings and uh, which will be get paid. So, we're going to see more in detail in simple way. And start, uh, please watch the videos. Thank you. Hello guys, today we are going to learn about modifier 22. So before that, we should know what is meant by modifier. So first we learn what is meant by modifier, then we can move on to the modifier 22. So what is modifier? The modifier indicate that the service or procedure performed has been altered by some specific circumstance here we have to listen properly it is the procedure performed has been altered by some specific circumstance without changing the meaning of the code so here whenever some there is some changes in the cpd code these modifier utilized to give the detailed information why there is a slight modification in the procedure okay the modifier is two characters that are odd numeric appended to this CPT or HIPX level 2 codes appending of an appropriate modifier will effectively respond to reimbursement. So here selecting the right modifier give 20 to 30 percent of additional reimbursement from the actual load amount. right and here we can see a level 1 modifier and level 2 modifiers so level 1 modifiers it is known as CPT modifiers consist of two digit numerics and it is annually updated by AMS AMS is nothing but American Medical Service okay and the modifiers are 22 23 24 25 26 and there are many modifiers are there okay here the next one is level 2 modifiers. It is known as HIPX modifiers. Consists of two digit alpha or alpha numerics. And it is annually updated or maintained by CMS. CMS is nothing but Center, Center of Medicare and Medicaid Service. Or Center for Medicare and Medicaid Service. And the modifiers are A1, AA, AD, H1. HN, J, uh, J1, J2, JA, etc. There are many modifiers are uh, in HEPIC modifiers. Okay. All right. Here, modifier 22. So, modifier 22 is English procedural service. So, it itself gives more explanation that is the English procedural service. The CPT modifier 22 English procedural service indicates that the work performed during a particular procedure was substantially greater than that typically required. In usually circumstance modifier 22 would be applied to surgeries that took significantly more time than usually required by the provider to complete the procedure which indicate Increased intensity time technical difficulty of the procedure severity of the patient condition So this modifier basically we use when we are when the doctor providing any kind of Service or you know performing any procedure typically it takes only Certain time specific time, but sometimes due to the patient condition It may take more time only in that case the modifier 22 will be appended along with the CPT code. Okay, appending this CPT code, appending this modifier along with CPT code gives more benefit for the provider to get the reimbursement. Okay, the 22 modifier should only be reported with procedural code that have global period 0 to 10, 90 days or the, the span. As identified on the medical physician fee schedule related to value files 
The failure to submit the corresponding medical records would end up in denial with the following message. Claim adjustment reason code 16. Uh, claim or service lack information which is need for adjudication. The, and the people who work in AR calling, mostly they will come across these kind of denials. Okay. And whenever the, the CPT code 22 modifier appended in any CPT code, we should provide relevant medical records and documents to the insurance company because we are using this modifier because you uh, modifier showing that we are actually provided service more than a specific time. So we need to give them more relevant document to prove the insurance company that these are the document for why we extended our procedure for a certain time. So the insurance company will pay more than 20 to 30 percent from the actual allowed amount. So whenever we append this modifier 22, the relevant document is must. Otherwise, a client will be denied for lack of information. Okay, so hope you understand why we need to append this modifier. Okay, if you have any questions, please update in the comment box. I'm happy to explain in detail. All right, and this modified 22 reimbursement percentage would be increased to 20 to 30 percent than the actual allowable. And if the operative report attached to the claim does not indicate appropriate use of the modifier, the 20% to 30% increase in payment is denied. See, as I mentioned earlier, that if whenever we submit the claim along with 22 modifier, we should submit the relevant documents, medical records. Otherwise, the insurance company denied the entire claim, like for lack of information. Again, we have to submit the right medical records to reprocess the claim. So better we, whenever we append this modifier, make sure we have to submit the relevant document to the insurance company to get paid. Now, right? So if you have any more questions, please message me in the comment box. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Uh, in the next video, we can see about different type of modifiers. Thank you for your support.